In the files for this project, I've placed four pictures downloaded from Unsplash. Unsplash file names are made up of a picture ID and the photographer's name. So if you drag them into your asset catalog, you'll see they have names such as Alice-Krivech-15949 and so on. That in itself isn't a problem, and in fact I think it can be a helpful way of remembering where assets came from. However, it does present a problem for screen readers. To get started with VoiceOver, we're going to create a simple view that cycles randomly through the four pictures in our asset catalog. Modify the content view struct to this. Let pictures equals, open bracket, Alice das Krivech dash 15949, Galina n dash 189483, Kevin dash Horstman dash 141705, and Nicholas dash Tisso dash 335096. Then we'll have a state integer to store which picture is being shown. At state, private var, selected picture equals int dot random in zero through three. And in the body, image, Pictures, selected picture, dot resizable, dot scale to fit, dot on tap gesture, self, dot selected picture equals int dot random in, zero through three. There's nothing complex in there, but it already helps illustrate two serious problems. If you haven't already enabled VoiceOver in the settings app on your iOS device, please do so now. Go to Settings, Accessibility, VoiceOver, then toggle it on. Now this is important, immediately below the VoiceOver toggle is instructions for how to use it. The regular taps and swipes you're used to no longer function the same way, so read those instructions. Now launch our app on your device, and try tapping once on the picture to activate it. If you listen carefully to VoiceOver, you should hear two problems. First, reading out Kevin Horstman 141705, it's not only unhelpful for the user because it doesn't describe the picture at all, but it's actually confusing. The long string of numbers does more harm than good. And second, after reading the above string, VoiceOver then says image. This is true, it is an image, but it's also acting as a button because we added an on tap gesture modifier. The first of those problems is a side effect of SwiftUI trying to give us sensible behavior out of the box. When given an image, it automatically uses the image's file name as a text to read out. We can control what voiceover reads for a given view by attaching two modifiers, accessibility label and accessibility hint. They both take text views containing anything we want, but they serve different purposes. The label is read immediately and should be a short piece of text that gets right to the point. If this view deletes an item from the user's data, it might say delete. The hint is read after a short delay and should provide more details on what the view is there for. It might say, delete an email from your inbox, for example. An accessibility label is exactly what we need to solve the first of our problems because it means we can leave the image name as it is while still having VoiceOver read out something that helps users. First, add the second array of image descriptions as a property for content view. Let labels equals an array of Tulips, frozen tree buds, sunflowers, and fireworks. And now attach this modifier to the image. Dot accessibility label, text, labels, selected picture. This allows VoiceOver to read the correct label no matter what image is present. Of course, if your image wasn't dynamically changing, you could just type your label directly into the modifier. The second problem is that the image is identified as an image. This is self-evidently true, but it's also not helpful because we've attached a tap gesture to it, so it's effectively a button. We can fix a second problem using another modifier, dot accessibility add traits. This lets us provide some extra behind the scenes information to VoiceOver that describes how the view works. And in our case, we can tell it that our image is also a button by adding this modifier. Accessibility add traits dot is button. If you wanted, you could remove the image trait as well, 
because it isn't really adding much. Accessibility removes traits dot is image. With those changes in place, our UI works much better. VoiceOver now reads a useful description of the image's contents and also makes users aware the image is also a button.